Hello everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for being here with me today for this savings challenge video. We are going to have a video jam packed with all kinds of stuff. We have new challenges. You can see we're bringing out the Skittles challenge and we have other new challenges as well. We're going to see if we can finish some challenges and there's just going to be a bunch of random stuff in here today. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you're having a good week. And I apologize, but when I took my mic off for the last video, I pulled it off of my flannel shirt by the wrong thing. So I ended up breaking it. So we still need to super glue it. So anyway, I hope the audio is okay. We are going to be stuffing $351 today in our savings challenges. And while I go ahead and sort this, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you a couple things quickly that I forgot to do in Monday's video. I completely forgot. So what I'm going to do first is just tell you a tiny bit about our kitchen renovation. And that I know I have sent some of you pictures and talked to some of you about it, but just so that everyone's on the same page. I know some of you were interested. So we have a very, very, very tiny kitchen. Basically, we purchased a house that had been rented out to college students and it turned out to be a frat house under investigation. So the lady who owned the house got sick of renting it out to college students for so many years. So she put it on the market. And that's when we picked up the when I bought the house because I was looking for a house and it was, the house is basically directly across the street from my kid's father. So right then and there, I knew I needed this house. So that's a whole nother story how I got the house. But anyway, we had a mini fridge or not a mini fridge but much smaller than a normal fridge because again it was for college students and the kitchen is was just not too nice so we've always wanted to redo the kitchen and Matt knows how to do everything so he has already put in a larger fridge and a dishwasher there was no dishwasher and so he did the electric for it he plumbed for it he put it in and when we purchased those two appliances we made sure there was a matching oven, stove, and microwave that we liked too, that we knew someday we would upgrade to when we had cash and have the kitchen match. So that is what I have been saving up for. If you've been to my videos before, you know I have been saving really hard this year, and those are two of my goals, to purchase those two items for the kitchen. So right now, I'm gonna repeat a picture I have already shown you, but, um. Matt is redoing the cabinets and um, first I'll go ahead and insert a picture right now of the cabinets, how they were before. And you can see the countertop, how it was before. And then I'll put a picture in of Matt and Addie scrubbing the cabinets um, or the cabinet fronts once they're off. And then I'll put in a few other pictures of just the process. So we picked out a light gray color for the cabinets and I picked out pretty, light turquoise, light teal, light mint green knobs. And um, I think they're beautiful. And anyway, we Matt has been working super, super, super hard on this project. So it's saving us a lot of money and he's had the time to do it because he is a boat mechanic. So for the past few months, he hasn't had to work as many days a week, but that's coming to a close quickly. So it's crunch time and he's trying to finish up the job. He's repainted the ceiling, repainted all of the trim, everything. He's been working so hard. And so those pictures should be running or you probably have seen them all by now. Um, I also, oh, let me finish that thought before I move on. Um, I'll quickly tell you that um, he is saving cash for a countertop. And so the countertop you see right now is the old one. So we're going to do kind of like a quartz and it's going to be very light, almost white with maybe a little bit of tiny gray marble mixed in that you can like barely see. And he's going to also, he's also saving up for a backsplash, which is going to be funky colors, but I don't have a picture of that handy. And um, yeah, and I'm still saving up for the stove and the, and the microwave. So anyway... We're super excited. I'm so thankful to him for all of his hard work. And the next thing I want to do is, um, I think a lot of you know my friend Kendra. And she, I don't think I told you this, but her dog Shelby is the only dog that Ranger 
gets along with. And Ranger is the only dog Shelby gets along with. So we say they've been dating for a very long time and we have so many pictures of them together, but they hadn't seen each other since Ranger had been sick. So they hadn't played or seen each other for a couple months. And so the other day, Ranger was well enough to actually walk and we took him for a walk and they were, since they're neighbors, they were walking this way, we were walking this way. And when Shelby saw Ranger, she started crying and Kendra let the leash go. Shelby was so excited. She started running circles around Ranger. And I took a video of the entire thing. And later when I went to watch it, because I wanted to show you guys, it said it was only one second long and it was a blur. So it didn't work. And I'm so sad I don't have that. But anyway, I will insert a picture here of the two of them walking together. They always walk pressed up against each other. It's so super cute. So anyway... Now we'll go ahead and get into the long savings challenge video. So apologize about the long intro, but now we'll pick up the pace. So like I said, we're going to be stuffing um, $351 today. And we're going to go ahead and start with travel. So in our vacation binder, we're going to, and I'm not going to say this about everything, but everything is linked in the description box. We're going to put 20 in here today and slowly but surely we'll get this finished up. So $20 and hopefully I have a couple more $20 spots in here. I should. Let's see. Flip right to the end. So what you guys are going to be seeing this on a Wednesday, please tell me how your week's going. Tell me what's new. Um, I'd love to hear what's going on with you. What's new here is that today is another snow day for my kids. Another day. They don't have school. It started snowing last night. It snowed all night and it's supposed to snow all day today and through till Tuesday morning. So I am officially sick and tired of snow. So I may even throw in a picture here or two. I have all kinds of pictures. We'll see how many Matt has the patience to put in for this video, but I'm kind of over the snow. And seriously, now my kids are going to be going to school probably close to the end, very end of June. So anyway, I'm kind of over the snow and over the snow days, but let's go ahead and move on. Um, the next thing we're going to do is my box for Max. And I'm going to try not to talk when I turn my head to grab stuff because then you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. But so if things look awkward, that's why I'm just trying to remember I don't have the microphone on. So right now we're going to go ahead and put this in Max's box. We're going to do the 20. And again, I hope that at some point we can do more than that. But I'm glad it's something. Max is a sophomore. He's, you know, in the second half of his sophomore year. And... Whatever we have in here will be helpful. So, and I do want to finish this box, but I mean, if he ends up getting a car before the end of this year, I may end up emptying it early. I really don't know. But at some point, I would like to fill these ahead and get this done way early so that, yes, if he gets a car or something like that, I can contribute toward it. So anyway, we'll just go ahead and put the 20 in there. And then the next thing we're going to do is a new challenge. I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but it's the Larry Bucks challenge. And I told you guys I had this, or I think I told you guys I had the same envelope in the A6 size and I do. So we're going to go ahead and start this challenge and it's a sticker challenge, which I love. Okay. I need to figure out how to not knock over these ones. Okay. So this is from Elisha at Hands and Bands. And honestly, you guys, she sent this to me as a freebie. I couldn't believe it. I actually saw it on someone's video a long time ago and I wanted to buy it and I went in the store and it wasn't in the shop and I was so sad and when I placed my order anyway it came with it I could not believe it I was so excited she's so generous so we're gonna just do we want to try to finish some challenges today so that we can have some money to put toward Rangers doggy debt so we're gonna just do some small amounts on some of these but at least get them started so I believe, yes, $12 we're going to do on this one. This is double-sided. This is, oh, it's upside down. No wonder it didn't look right. This is so super cute. I absolutely love it. And there you go, Matt. Thanks to Alicia, you don't have to 
edit this. You don't have to fast forward because I'm not scratching anything or coloring anything in. Yay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put that away, but I'm glad that we're getting that started. And I love colors and this is just so colorful and I love the pastels and I'm trying not to mess with it too much, but I guess I have to, to get it in there. Okay. So we'll be done with that one. The next one we're going to do is our movie night one from Sisters on a Budget. So we're going to actually finish this one today because I need to finish some challenges. So this is one that I chose to finish today because it is very doable amounts. So to finish this, we need to add, hopefully you guys can see, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 49, 53, 57. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. I'm going to, I already actually went and picked out every marker I need for this entire video. So they're all here. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in. It's going to take a bit. So I'm going to still try to do a really nice job, but I'll have Matt fast forward this and speed it up. So you don't have to be in pain watching me do it. So I'll go ahead and start coloring this in now. Okay, guys, this is so, so super cute. I'm definitely saving this one. I just love it. And um, we're going to go ahead and add the money and see if it's 108 like it should be. But something is rattling on my desk. I hope you guys can't hear it, but it's going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to be right back. I need to figure out what it is and move this thing off my desk. Okay, that was quick. I figured out what it was. It was a mug of my markers that was hitting the wall. Anyway, okay, so let me bring this back over here and we need to add, I believe I said 57 to it. So we'll do 50, 55, 56, 57. And then it should be a total of 108. So we'll see if I mathed right on this one. So let's see, we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's correct. We have 108 and now we're done with this challenge. So that means next week we get to start a new challenge in here. So I think I'll just go ahead and we'll just leave that. And I have some paper clips handy. So I should have got my larger ones, but that's okay. I think I'll just paper clip this and put this to the side. So Look how cute that is. Okay, so this one's complete. I definitely wanna do more challenges from Sisters on a Budget. I just think they are so sweet and they are so nice and they and generous and they have the cutest challenges and I just wanna keep supporting them. So anyway, let's, let's move along. The next challenge we're gonna do, I'm gonna to try to keep this movie without commercials. I'm gonna to try to keep it rolling. So the next one we're gonna do is save 2023 in 2023. It's Madeline's challenge. So today, I once again, I picked the smallest number available, which is 18. And so let's go ahead and we'll get the sheet out. Um, let's see. I've been loving this binder so much. So this is the section we're using today. And I think I may take these out. It may be easier. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these, all these challenges out that we're gonna do today. Somebody said they liked when you could kind of see stuff in the background. So I'm trying to do kind of a, a I'm not having as much room to put stuff here. So anyway, this is the only one I didn't prep a color for. I forgot about that. I prepped the envelope, but I didn't prep a color. So let's see, what color should we do? Well, where is the 18? It's right there. Okay. Wish you guys could tell me what to do, but I think we're going to go with a pink. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with a pink. And I'm not sure if these bleed through. So I do have a piece of cardstock close by. And I'm just going to keep it under these so that we don't 
get through to the next challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and color in the 18 and then we'll add it. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and add the $18 and we'll just do a 10, a five and three ones. Okay, so $18 and hopefully we'll catch up so that we can finish this by the end of the year, but we'll have to see. So while I'm putting the money in, and again, this will go in my safe, um, I just wanted to shout out somebody. There's a su subscriber who is so sweet. She's become a friend of mine, and her name is Brittany Raynor. I'm, and I probably just pronounced her last name wrong, but Brittany is so sweet, and she sent Ranger money recently, and she said, watch out for your Venmo because, and see what it says because or I actually know it was PayPal. She got the link through my description box, but she said, make sure you read the description because sometimes I might just send money for you or it might be for Ranger. And I told her she didn't need to send any money, any more money. I appreciated her, but she said, nope, every once in a while, I wanna spoil you guys. And she just sent me $10 and said, this is for me, not for Ranger, it's to use on myself. So I ordered something, it hasn't come in yet, so I can't show you, but. It was $10 and I ordered something, and I'll give you a hint, it was $10 and change. So I only had to use some cents and I want you guys to guess what it is. I got it on the Amazon and it was a little under $11 and it's something that I've been wanting because a lot of you have it. So see, put in the comments what your guess is to what I bought. And as soon as it comes in, I'll show you. So anyway, let's go ahead and do this first. And yes, trying to go in order of the envelope. So we're gonna add $5 to this. We don't have much to add, and I'm actually not gonna count these today because I know the video's already gonna be super long, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add the money, color it in, and then we'll move along. So I just need to color in one lobster. Okay, I did an incredibly bad job, but it's done. And this is not the right marker, but I decided to just keep rolling with it. So anyway, I didn't wanna take up any more of your time finding the right marker. So this one's taking a while, but when it's done, it'll be a, it's gonna be $400. And since this challenge, this is the one that my daughter Addie gifted me for my birthday. This is the first one she ever made and surprised me with. She has now made a, or put a lower income one in the shop. So I kind of wish I was working on that one instead. But anyway, I started off with the first one, which was 400. So it'll come along slowly, but surely. So we'll put this aside and now we'll do the Skittles challenge. So I know I told you guys this, but I had wanted to start this challenge a while ago, but Matt ate all the Skittles. So <laughs> we had to, I had to wait till we bought more Skittles and Anyway, we're going to start this today. I am so excited. I love Skittles. Tell me if you have a favorite co favorite color flavor of Skittles. Mine is the grape, the purple. And this is from Kingdom Planning. I will link them in the description box. And here are the Skittles. They're in this jar. I love this jar. So I always keep it and then find a use for it. I love the rose gold top. And if you didn't see my video showing this, my daughter, I asked her to make me some type of thing, some type of device so that I could reach it in and it would only pick up one Skittle. And she made me this. And when we painted, when Matt and she painted her bedroom, they had extra paint. So she used the paint that's her bedroom wall color. So anyway, we're going to start this and I've put aside $25 in case I get a purple, but I'm really hoping I don't get a purple because it's really expensive. So let's go ahead and see. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push, push this way down inside, okay? And then I'm gonna pull it, I don't wanna, it's kind of fragile. I'm, I don't wanna mix it around too much, but we're gonna pull it up and only one will fit. Okay, so if you see, it's a green one. So, that's $10. So should we go again? I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of scared. So I'm going to go ahead and eat that Skittle because it wouldn't be fair to put it back in. Okay. So I think we're just going to do one 
because if I get a 25, I'll be upset. So <laughs> we'll just do one and I will color in a, okay, so these are all the same. So I'll just color in this first one in the green. All right, that looks cool. And what I will say is I was so sad when they put the green apple flavor in. I didn't buy Skittles for a long time, but now they sell the lime ones again. And I love the lime, so I just ate a lime one. So I'm really excited about this challenge and we'll go ahead and do this every week. It's gonna take a while. Hopefully some weeks we can do more than one. So let's put this aside and, oh, let's put the money in. Look at my envelope. Do you guys like it? I think it's so cute. Let's see, so that was $10. So we'll just put in a 10 to get that started. I'm excited to start some new challenges. See, I got to eat a Skittle. I got rewarded for saving money. All right. <laughs> so Tetris is the next one. And this is another one that we can finish today. So I'm excited about that. So I'm going to just take everything out of it, put it aside. And let's see. There's our board. And let's see. Here's the money that's in there. I'll just put it right here. So to finish this challenge, we have this whole area left and you, I don't think you guys can see it, but there's pencil. I actually can't even see it, but I did put pencil. Let me get my colors out. Sorry, I'm having trouble explaining this. I don't know why, but I know there aren't any purple left, but I have everything pre-done so that I can just fill these in. And so just to save time, instead of counting them with you or showing you, it will take a while. So let me just tell you, to finish this challenge today, we need to add $27. So everything I'm about to color in equals 27. I counted it a ton of times, so I know what's right. So let me go ahead and just finish coloring this in and we'll go ahead and finish up this challenge so we can have more to add to Ranger. Okay, you guys, so this is the best I can do. I have one square I wasn't able to use and I had a lot of fun doing this game. Next time I do it, I'm gonna use the die that I believe it was EE -E made for me and I'm going to um, just whatever I roll, that's what I'm gonna do. So it won't look as pretty as this. I won't do anything ahead of time, but um, this is from my friend Trina at Budget by Number. She doesn't have a channel. I wish she did, but um, her Etsy shop is awesome and she keeps adding more challenges. And um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, I have so many challenges from her. She has all kinds of other games too. Like I, I bought Pac-Man. I think I want to do that next, but Trina is such a sweet person and I love supporting her. So check out her shop and we need to add in 27, like I said. So let's see. So we'll do 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll use up some of those ones. So let's, I'm just going to add up the ones that we're finishing today. Because I have a feeling that my secretary, <laughs> she knows who she is, is adding these up for everyone in the comments. And oh my goodness. I feel like Liz. I love you, Liz. No offense. And I actually, even though we're opposite types, I actually love watching you put money together, sort it, count it. I actually really enjoy it. Okay. So this is supposed to be ahead of time. I figured out the total of this and it was supposed to be 128 and it's not 128, but I don't care. I'm going to roll with it. So 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 126. I'm not sure what happened, but instead of spending however long it takes to figure it out, I have decided to just be okay with it, which is, you guys know, it's really hard for me, but I waste so much time because of my perfectionism and I'm trying not to do that anymore. So I'm not even going to worry about it. So anyway, now we have two challenges finished. Um, let's see what else we can do. So 
I love this envelope. Trina's made, makes a lot of envelopes that go with the challenges. I just love them. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the Easter challenge from Lisa Grateful Me. And let, let me pull that out. Look how beautiful this is, guys. We're gonna go ahead and finish this today. So again, I, I was trying to see which ones we could finish so that we can add as much money as possible to our Saturday video for Ranger. So let's see, we have five, 10, I've got a pointer. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, $40. So 20, you know what? Let's, I'm not sure where else would we be able to do the 50. So let's do the money now. So let's see if we can put in a 50 and take out a 10. And I think I did that okay. So we'll take out a 10 and put it over here. Let's just count the money since it's already in my hand. And this should be 160. So 50, 100, 120, 40, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 160. So this is correct. This is 160. Yay. Okay. So I'm not going to put it back in there. Let's go ahead and color it. I just think the her challenges are so beautiful. So let me get out my markers. Let's see. We need those two and then these two. So, all right, I'm going to get to coloring. Okay, guys, look at this. I Oops, I love how pretty this is. Let's take a look at it. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. Okay, so I think those are all the challenges. Oh, let's get the money. I forgot about that. Wait, did we already count it? Yeah, we did count it. Okay, so let's go ahead and I may just put these. I may just throw these up on here in case I want Matt to do a thumbnail with these. So let's see. I may just throw those on the screen real quick. Okay. Anyway, let's move along. So I think I will just paper clip the money to the front of this one. So I won't be confused when I have money laying around. And okay, so these are our three finished finished challenges for today. I'm so excited. And let's move right along. So the next one we're gonna do is Walk the Dog. And this is, I believe, by Peggy. It'll be linked in the description box. And someone gave me the idea to, instead of circling it, that I should have drawn little leashes. And I actually really like that idea. So we're gonna do that. So we're only able to add five to this today. So, but that's okay. So I'm really not good at drawing at all whatsoever, but we'll pretend that's a collar. And then for a leash, I'm just gonna do a little squiggly line. So I know that's terrible guys, but um, that's as good as we're gonna get for this one. Where is my, okay, so let's, there we go. So that goes in here. So I'm, again, I'm just gonna throw it in. I know this video is already gonna be extremely long and then maybe next time we'll count them, but we'll throw the $5 in there and then this is when we're supposed to do the Friends Trivia from Kim. And if I didn't insert it earlier, then I will insert it here where it's supposed to go. And in that video, you'll see us add money to this folder, envelope, okay. Okay, everyone, I'm back and I have... Addie, hi. Busy Junior's here. She just showed you her hands. She is here to play a very special game with me, the trivia game the Friends Trivia Game from Kim at Star Budget. Say thank you to Kim. Thank you. We're so excited. We put all of the questions in this tin. If you've been around for a while, you may recognize the tin. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain the instructions to you and Addie at the same time. So, this is one of the envelopes Kim made for, it, for us. It says, oh, let me pull it over here. Friends Trivia Mystery Scratch Off. So here's how this game's gonna work. We're gonna have Addie choose a card. So actually, Addie, go ahead and choose a card. All right. Any card, they're all mixed up. Okay, don't open it, don't open it. Okay. Okay, 
So here's what's gonna happen. There is a big scratch off for me, so I'm gonna scratch that off and that is, that is the amount I need to save and put in here for the challenge, okay? Now, whatever number the question is, then Addie has to answer it. If she gets it right, she gets to scratch this and she gets to keep whatever amount is there. So, like I had told you earlier, we have $30 we're working with. Yep, there's the other five. So Addie, um, grab a scratcher. I think there's one right inside there. So we have $30 here. I have no idea how much these are for. We might have leftover, we might have an IOU, I don't know, but um, we're gonna go ahead and I wonder if it, okay, so this says number nine. So let's go ahead and play. So number nine, I'm gonna read this question to Addie. So Addie, Ross says, whose name at the altar in London? Rachel's. Are you sure it's Rachel's? Yes. You're sure, okay, that's your final answer? Uh -huh. All right, well, I think it's correct, but we'll check anyway. Rachel, oh look, she printed these, oh. I, this is so sweet, Kim. I'm going to save these and, okay. So Addie got that question right. So, oops, we still need it. So I'm going to go ahead and scratch right here. And this is how much I have to save. Oh, $2. Okay. I can handle that. So let's see. So I'm going to put $2. Do you want to put it in the envelope for me? Sure. Okay. So we'll put... Let's see, it's closed. So $2 is gonna go in the envelope. And then because Addie got the question right, she gets to um, scratch this and I have to give her this amount of money and she gets to keep it and just, it's fine. And just um, bring it upstairs and put it in her wallet. So she's pretty excited about this. So Addie, you go ahead and scratch your circle. It's a big money, big money. Is it a zero? It's a five. Wait, yours is more than mine. Oh, lucky girl, okay, so. You guys, Kim was really kind to us. And, okay, so there you go, Addie. Thank you. You're welcome. And Kim was really kind to us and did small numbers. So we get to go again. Do you want to do another one, Addie? Sure. Okay, so this one is complete. And I'm going to just put this to the side because I'm using this envelope and Addie's taking her money. So we don't need to put the money in that envelope. So let's play again. So let's go ahead and pick another one. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and scratch now. I'm gonna scratch first this time. 10, okay. So we'll just put it on top of there. So I have to save 10. Um, all right, let's see what number it is. Number eight. I did mix these up, guys. Okay, so <laughs> number eight. You can read the question out loud if you want. What is the name of Phoebe's twin sister? That's Ursula. That is Ursula, okay. I don't think you're gonna get any money from this, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to give you all my money on the right. Yep, <laughs> Ursula, okay. All right, so Addie, you get to scratch and see what's under there. Three. Three, okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so. Do you have enough ones? You know what? I don't have enough ones, but we may or may not have just done a bill condensing video, oh, and that's oh the money goodness. that I'm about to take to the bank after you and I film this, so I think I can make some change. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll take a five. Yep. So I guess I just gave you guys a hint to a video that's coming up in the near future. Usually everyone loves those. Okay. So I owe Addie, I already put my 10 over there and I owe Addie $3. So there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And Addie, mm -hmm. do you want to try out something super cool for my friend, Janessa? What? Okay. This is going to be a really long video. Sorry, people. Okay. I'm going to grab this. Um, this is my desk vacuum she got for scratchies. <laughs> so that turns it on. Go ahead and see how see how um satisfying this is. What do you think? Pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I think Nanny needs one for the crumbs on her table. Oh, she's got a little rolly one. Well, I know, but it's not a battery operated one. Okay, so what do we have left over for money? So we finished this one. We'll put that one aside and let's go back to here. Okay, so 10 needs to go in there, but let's see. We have, should we chance it? Let's chance it. Let's do one more, because this is really fun. So I'll just leave that on top. And we have to really hope that we get a, let's see, we have um, two, three, we have $10 left. So we have to really hope that it's a, it's some small numbers, or I'm gonna have to do an IOU. Okay. 
All right, so this one is number three. So why don't you go ahead and read number three out loud. What store does Phoebe hate? I know it. Is it? One, two, three. Say at the same time as me. One. Oh, geez. Wait, you're thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking. You have to think of this? I think I know it. I know this one. Can you say it on three? Barnes and Noble. You guys, she got one wrong. <laughs> she said Barnes and Noble. Oh my goodness. I don't remember. Okay, this is really strange because Addie knows any little tiny detail of every episode. I cannot believe she gets the most difficult things. Do you want one more try, Addie? <laughs> Hold on. I can't believe you don't know this. I'm sh I'm I actually do know shocked. It. I do know it. Right, but you forgot it. Um, do you want me to tell you what it, give you a hint, tell you what it starts with? No, it's where the apothe apothecary table came from. Oh, sorry. It Addie. is where the apothecary table yeah. came from. Well, I'm gonna scratch mine while you're thinking. You did get it wrong, but let's see. Oh. Does it start with a B? Um, the second word of it starts with a B. That's where I got yep. Okay. Okay. Um, so I owe three over there. So this is going to be the last time round we play for today. So I'm going to go ahead and put this money in here. So while she's thinking, I'm giving her one more chance. And let's see. So we have about 15 okay it's gonna be such a long video but that's okay all right I'm glad so glad we started that off so all right Addie we have one scratch and we have seven dollars you've already gotten it wrong we'll give you one more chance the store has two words in it and the second word starts with a b dun 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 okay the first what's the, what's the thing you say in poker I, I, the what when you're when you're done, you're like in I, poker. I, I, I fold. Yeah, I fold. I'm folding. I'm done. You're folding. Okay, so Addie, it is po it is Pottery Barn. Oh, you knew that. I got right. Barn. It's Barnes and Noble. It's not Barnes and Noble. I it's know, but I got the oh, barn. oh, that's, okay. That's where well, that came from. oh, you're so lucky. You only lost a dollar. <laughs> that's it. Okay. All right. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye to you now and so you can move on to the rest of this very long savings challenge video. So Addie, say bye to everyone. Bye. Bye. So then the next one we're gonna do is taxes. So this is from Reinventing Renee. I love it. Look at his face. Here it is. So we're going to add $20. I, mean, I have no idea how much I'm going to owe in taxes for YouTube and Etsy, but we're just going to keep going strong adding money. So we'll just put in a 20. So I try to do about $20 each video since we only do these videos twice a month, I believe. So we'll go ahead and we'll just do one more row and I will go ahead and color that in now. Okay, so that's all set and let's move along. So the next one is another new one and I'm so excited to show you guys this one because it's from one of my good friends. We all know her, Marcy. Marcy, feeling so vintage, managing Marcy, whatever you wanna call it. But, okay, so here's the story. I ordered a sticker and I had it say managing Marcy and it was a mandala or however you pr pronounce this word. And so the sticker should be this size and look like this and be a circle. But the person I ordered it from had a family emergency and she said she would not be able to get it to me for like a month. So I asked her, I said, that's fine, but would you be willing to send me a an image that I can just print and color on my computer and I can just make a label until I get your sticker. And she said, of course. So I blew it up. So this is a little blurry, but the sticker should look gorgeous. But I wanted to showcase Marcy. And if you have not seen her channel or her Etsy shop, go favorite both right now, or you can't favorite her YouTube channel, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna start this challenge. It's probably gonna take us a while to finish, but that's okay, because I would love supporting her every time I do the savings challenge binder. And we, for now, we might come back to it if we have money left over, but for now we're going to do $10 because I don't know how much we're gonna have left over. So, and Lindsay, yes, I'm scared right now because I don't know how this all is gonna 
come out, but we'll figure it out. We'll work it out. So I am just going to do the colors to kind of match what she did. And then I don't have to think she thought for me. So thank you, Marcy. Marcy, I hope you're having a good vacation with your daughter right now. And we're going to go ahead and just color in this 10 right here. Okay, it's funny because it says calming mind coloring challenge, and it really does calm my mind when I can color without having to choose the color. So that worked out great. So we're going to go ahead and put the 10 in here to start this challenge. And then we're going to move right on to another new challenge. So hopefully my camera doesn't die since. Okay, so this is from Madeline Budgets. And you guys, she gifted me this. This was her This was her donation to Ranger. She gifted me all of her Boho Dog Savings Challenges. So I have a bunch of them. But look at this, you guys. Just take a minute to appreciate this sticker. I mean, how funny is that? Leave your mark. I just love it so much. So I just love the sticker so much. And I love Madeline so much that we're going to use that for this challenge. So we're going to start this today. And we don't know how much we're going to put in because we have to roll some dice. So for this game, we are going to roll two dice. And I had this little pottery thing. I actually showed in a video a long time ago, I think, when I got it. But it was holding my rings, and I really don't wear rings very often. So I decided to repurpose it for dice and scratchers. So anyway, we are going to use these two dice, and we're going to use this marker. And we are going to roll two dice. And I set aside, I think, just 12 for this. No, I set aside. Okay. I'm incorrect. I'm sorry. I set aside 20. And on my notes, it says the D20. So we're using this guy, this big guy. So this is the 20-sided die. So we're going to roll. And I kind of feel like I want to match because she'd appreciate that. So I'm going to switch this color to green. We're going to use the dark green to put in the amount. Okay. Anyway, let's get moving. Okay. We got a three. So should we go again, guys? Where was my gray sheet of paper? Let me find it. Oh, Marcy stole it. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we got a three. Let me write that in. Okay. You know I got to roll again. Okay, I got to do it one more time. 18. Okay. See, this die is just so much fun. Okay, so we owe it 21. So that's a nice, good start to Madeline's challenge. So challenge, I think I messed up saying that. So thank you, Madeline, for gifting these to me. I love them. They're in her shop. It'll be linked below. So let's do, let's use up some ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll do a 10 for 18. Nope. Oh, we're supposed to do 21. Okay, well, guys, I caught my mistake. So you should be proud of me. Let's do 10. 20 and one. Okay. So at least I caught that. So that'll give this a nice start. Okay. So the next one is going to be another new challenge and this comes with some mail. So I just want to tell you guys a quick little story. I really wanted to support someone new. Actually, let me get out. Let me get out the sheet of paper. So this is my friend, Jenny. She has a new channel and a new Etsy shop. I love her videos. She's so organized and she is supporting so many people in the budgeting community. I love her Etsy shop. I have already, I believe, purchased some other challenges or I may not have yet, but I purchased stickers to make envelopes to go with her challenges. But I didn't realize this came with an envelope for free. So instead of making the envelope, I just printed it and or it came with the dashboard and I just taped it on the outside. But I, I had ordered a pay sticker because I, like I said, I didn't think it came with one. And I just have to tell you about this company. So since it was kind of a baby pig, I ordered this sticker. I just thought it was really cute. But as I'm opening it, let me just tell you, um, this is from the Print Culture Shop on Etsy. And they are just the sweetest people. Their names are Dan and Catherine. And I ended up talking back and forth with them on Etsy. They are so sweet. I told them I was going to use their sticker on my YouTube channel. And, um, and, I, and we ended up talking about how my daughter had an Etsy shop. And 
they were just so nice. We were just talking for a while and they said they wanted to send my daughter a sticker for free. And so see, here's the, here's their card. And so, so they have a website as well. And so they said, um, we want to make her a mermaid sticker or give her one of our mermaid stickers. Um, what's her favorite color that we could, pink or purple? And I said, you know what? Because I didn't, I don't ever want to waste anybody's product or time. So I said, honestly, she's a tomboy and she does not like mermaids. However, I noticed you have an astronaut sticker on your site and she loves space and astronauts. So they said, oh, thanks for telling us. We'll send her that sticker. And my daughter is so picky. But when she saw the sticker, she freaked out. She was so excited. She told me it was a really cool astronaut sticker. And she can't wait to put that on her special sticker wall. So I doubt they're watching. But Dan and Catherine from the Print Culture Shop, thank you so much. Addie really appreciated this. That was so kind of you. And now that I haven't let her touch it, until I did this video. So now she'll be happy she can put that on her sticker wall. So I'm gonna put this sticker on the back. Of, oh, you got a sneak peek of the next thing, but I'm gonna go ahead now and put the sticker on the envelope. I didn't put it on yet because I didn't wanna forget to say, shout them out and say thank you to them, but we'll put that on the back. It's so cute. So we're gonna go ahead and do, and Jenny's channel and shop will be linked below. And we are going to do, let's see. We're going to use that marker and this is the challenge that we're going to use the two dice for. So, okay, we're still filming. Good. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't run out of space on my, on my phone. Okay. So for this one, we're doing the two dice. And so I've put aside $24 so we can roll twice. Okay. So let's go. So I wondered if it was a nine, but I realized it's a six sided die. So our first roll is seven. So we'll just write that down. And then let's roll again. Oh, six. So let's go again because these are still lower numbers. Seven. All right, once more. This is kind of addictive and I'm curious if I'll get a seven and make a pattern. I mean a six and make a pattern. No, that's nine. Okay, so, all right. So we have, let's see, nine, 16, 22, 29, is that right guys? I think that's right. I'm gonna use a calculator just in case because you know the camera goes on, the brain cells go off, so. Okay, it is 29, okay. So we'll do 10, 20, and then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just in case any, anybody is wondering, I've already checked these all for star notes. I've checked them for letters I'm saving for friends and subscribers and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and just need to put that in order and we'll get this envelope rolling. Okay, so... This is going to be interesting because I don't know how much money when I do the friends trivia challenge with Addie, I don't know how much money I need to leave. So it makes it a little bit difficult because I don't know how much I have left to work with. So I was going to do this challenge last. You guys check out this sticker. This is a peacock sticker and it's my friend Holly's challenge. And her, her shop is Co Copper Peacock Budgets. She loves peacocks and she loves the color orange. So we did an orange envelope and this has a little bit of orange, so it does match. So that sticker came in in time. So I was gonna take whatever leftover money and put it on this one, but we don't know how much money is left over. So I may have to do this off camera. I'm not sure, but I let's see. Well, let's see how much money we have. So this is Again, the, we have to do the friends trivia challenge and then and then the rest goes in here. So we have 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have $69 and I know we don't need nearly that amount for, um, I do wanna do this on camera. So you know what, I'm just gonna make a decision and Let's leave for the trivia challenge from Kim. We're going to leave 10, 15, 20, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's leave 30. You guys will find out how much we ended up using later, but 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so I'm gonna put this $30 in the back so we don't use that. And we will do this challenge, but I'm gonna do something, I'm just gonna do something on the fly and uh, I'm trying to reach it right now. So you guys, this is so beautiful. It's just been sitting on my desk. I'm sad I haven't been able to start it. It's just literally been sitting here. This is my Larry Box Challenge and look at this rainbow scratcher. It's so adorable. And there's, oh, there's two range of, two rainbow scratchers. I think because I ordered two, two scratchers. Anyway, let's open one of these up and we're gonna go ahead and just do one of these. Again, this, this was not planned at all. We're just gonna scratch. I don't have an envelope for it. Uh, maybe I'll put it in my, I'm gonna mix these up though because I didn't realize this until I saw Wendy do this but I think they're like the numbers one through 25 and each number appears once. So just in case these are all in order, I just want them shuffled a little bit. And yeah, they're gonna be a hot mess, but that's okay. So let's just go ahead and do one of these because I just can't wait any longer. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna pick this one on top right here. Look how cute this is. These are laminated. They're, it's like one of the coolest things I've ever ordered. So let's go ahead and let's scratch this. Oh, and it's such a satisfying scratch. Okay, guys, this is so nice. Look at this. You can't, you can't even tell there was a sticker on here. So you can definitely reuse these. I'm definitely keeping these. And you guys told me that Matt put batteries in my little desk vacuum that I got from Mama T, Janessa. So let's try it out. I think maybe I just wasn't doing it right. Or he said I didn't turn it on or I don't know, guys. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's see if it works. Look at that. Okay. Janessa, that worked like a charm. Thank you so much. That was very cool. So let's do seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Seven. Okay, so we'll put seven, seven aside. You guys, I have to go again. I just have to do it. Let's do it. I know you all want to want me to do it. Let's do one more, and let's hope. Oh, we still have a good. We still have a good amount to work with. Let's just keep going, guys. Let's do it. All right, we get eleven. Okay, I hope that you guys aren't going to be annoyed with me, but I have to do it again. It was just so satisfying. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. 11. I wanted some ones to put in the, okay. So we're, we'll put 11 aside and we're going to go one more time and we're going to hope it's not a huge one, but you guys know how this works. It's probably going to be a huge number, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, of course it was a huge number. Of course, right? Doesn't that always happen? And I mean, I called it. Okay, I promise I won't use this every time in every video that I scratch, but I just, I'm, I'm obsessed already. Okay, so 10, 10, 20, 21. Let's see, do I have my... What are we gonna do here? Because I wanted to put some in this challenge. So I think here's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do an IOU because I don't plan on doing this every week, but let's, you guys, I don't know what to do. We may not need all the $30 I have set aside for the Friends Trivia, but I wanna have it just in case. So, okay, so the, the cards that we did, I'm gonna put on the bottom. If you guys don't have this set, you need to go get it. I'm telling you, you need to have this in your life. Um, okay, so 24. So I'm gonna get my wallet. Let's see, let me grab my wallet. Okay, so we're just gonna take some money out of here. So 10, 21, let's take a five out of, let's take a five out of miscellaneous. Let's do that guys. Okay, let's grab that five. This will be our miscellaneous. 
Okay, so if we need 24, then we have 10, we'll do 25, right? And then we get to take one back. Did I do that right, guys? Tell me if I didn't, okay? And then I have two left over to put in the dollar challenge. And, oh my gosh, if anyone is still watching right now, I love you so much. <laughs> okay, so total here, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Again, I hope this is okay because it, I guess it's, I guess it's because my channel, I can make the rules. I'm going to pull back out Max's box because he's a lot older than Addie. So I don't feel right putting a ton more in Addie's. So even though I was using scratch off, scratch offs for hers, let's divide the money. Let's just, yeah, let's just do this. I hope this, you guys think this is a good idea. So we'll do, of course, I got to go have them going in the right direction. So we'll do 21 for each. So 15 for each and then, um, 20 for that one, and then one, two, three, four, five. So 20 for that one, 21. So let's do two more envelopes from Cynthia and Cassie J. And let's fill two more envelopes. And I think that's actually a really good idea. I'm, I feel really good about that. So let me put those in here. And Yeah, I'm, I think I'm happy with that decision. I'm glad I thought of that on the fly. Let's see if I can open this. I'm telling you, you would think having long nails helps, but it, it, sometimes it hinders. Okay, so that's kind of puffy because there's a lot of ones, but it's okay. The envelope's not gonna break. It just doesn't look as pretty as sticking out, but I'm okay with that. We're just gonna keep going. Okay, so now Max has two more envelopes filled. I like that. I'm happy I did that. Okay, and now, we're gonna use our last two dollars and and maybe we'll have more if we don't use the whole 30, like I said, for the trivia, but let's go ahead and put two more in here in Holly's challenge and let's color in two orange ones and we will end with this. So let me just color them in and so we get to color in two. And if you think any of these look messy, it's because Kendra colored them in, not me. <laughs> She's not OCD, but I love her to pieces. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I really appreciate you and everything you do. I'm going to let you go right now. Have a great day, and if you're still here watching, then you're going to know that Friday is going to be a really special video, and you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be a favorite. So have a great day. Bye.